वेलकम बैक वेलकम बैक टू फॉर पे डॉट डॉट ऑर्ग दिस इज कंज्यूमर्स डॉक्टर बंगाला थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस टूडे इज टॉपिक इंश्योरर्स ऑब्लिगेशन इंश्योरर्स ऑब्लिगेशन फोक्स इंश्योरेंस कॉन्सेप्ट इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट थिंग वी हैव एवर फॉर्मुलेटेड इन हेल्थ केयर डोंट टेक मी रॉन्ग but insurers have an obligation towards you consumer today i'll talk about what insurance can behaviors can be modified and how it will help you and me together okay number 1 insurers are not in the favor of lowering the cost i want to i want to reemphasize that insurers are not interested in lowering the cost of the healthcare if they are serious about it we wouldn't be spending 3.8 trillion dollars in healthcare how did we get here partly multiple factors you know partly to blame the government the insurance industry and uh, providers everybody to be blamed in this but today my main focus is insurers obligation to you insurers goal is to collect the premium and make profits off the premium i have no problem with that but insurers obligations are to you how to help a consumer like you to lower the cost of the premium and lower the cost of the care they can do it if you lower the cost of the care the premiums will automatically go down folks but they don't do that why i have no idea i have no idea i tell you how the insurers you know this is something for the insurance to look into it if a young person in their 30s paying a insurance premium of $200 is something is fundamentally wrong folks 200 300 because insurers are not segmenting their risks young folks you're talking about 68% of the americans are healthy most of them they do hardly see a doctor they hardly go to a hospital they hardly they do just routine checkups but their premiums are in general are too high because there is no segmentation by the category there has to be a segmentation by you know into four categories well category at risk category chronic illness category and catastrophic this concept i've laid out from a well known actuarial ron bachman he is the one who started this medicare supplemental folks i want you to go to the forpay.org and go to there is thing called unlocking the secrets of health insurance unlocking the secrets of health insurance i want you to read that book before making i have read that book over and over again i can tell you we really need to insurers are serious about helping the folks like you and me they need to start segmenting we don't need to mandate insurers obligation is to you but ultimately it boils down to the representatives in washington the government do we need a government based healthcare or do we need a public private partnership lots of democrats are in favor of public private partnership in every venture why healthcare is not going in that direction i can't tell you i cannot tell you because these lobbyists are working hard to keep the status quo so we really need to 
switch the gears to public-private partnership where there is no government intervention, there is there is no one size fits all. It gets modified every level and focus is on the impaired. The focus is on the impaired. You know how many people really have health related issues we are having, we have to tackle? Only two to 3% of the population folks. Two to 3% of the population, you mean to say the US government can't handle two to 3% of the sick people? under the government subsidized, I'm not talking about the Obamacare, I'm talking about under the government subsidized through public-private partnership. People are impaired, they really need certificate of guaranteed coverage, folks. Certificate of guaranteed coverage through a public-private partnership. It doesn't cost the government a penny. Yes, it doesn't cost the government a penny. And as a result, the people in well category will have the lowest premiums and insurers, numbers, second obligation is insurers needs to set up a rainy day fund, so-called rainy day fund for all the so-called consumers every member who gets the insurance, they need to facilitate setting up a rainy day fund, so-called health savings account. Rainy day fund, folks, I'm not kidding. It comes in handy. It helps all segments of the population across broad spectrum, low income, middle income, higher income. So by setting up health savings account, so-called rainy day fund, they will, I'm talking about $10 a day, man, $10 a day and $20 for the family. You're talking about $36 a month. $300 a month, $3,600 a year. $600 a month for the family, $7,200 for a year. You mean to say we can't put money aside and insurers cannot help us in setting up those and they should raise the deductibles. So that way consumers are ultimately being empowered by the insurers. Insurers responsibility is empower the consumer. As a result, it lowers the cost of the care for all. Yes, by empowering the consumer, you will lower the cost because that, you're talking about $36 a year. It goes a long way, folks. In 10 years, it'll be 40 grand. In 20 years, it'll be, you name it, you know, it, it could go a long way. And you're talking about a family, 72, thousand dollars which will which will be tied to the index funds and, and the and it, kill, uh, it ke keeps on appreciating at 10 15 20 percent in the index funds and it is very safe and it is yours and everybody should be having this rainy day fund for health care I would call it a rainy day. I, when I say health savings, a lot of people say, a lot of people don't, oh, they don't have the money, that nobody has the money. I understand that logic. But when you go to, the other day I went to the optometrist for an eye checkup. Simple things, folks, in a Walmart. I said, uh, how much is it? You know, I broke my glasses and I said, how much it is cost for me to have an eye exam? said 60 bucks fine I have no problem but he insisted on me giving insurance I said what do you, what do you have do you have insurance I basically said no you know why because once they know you have insurance they can bill 300 bucks because they know consumers are not interested you know as long as you take away the insurance a segment of it they can build insurance company three hundred dollars 
He insisted. I said, I don't have any insurance. Even though I had Medicare, I said, no, I pay cash. See, this is the way system work, folks. Any provider, very first thing they want to know if you have insurance. I basically said, no, I don't have insurance. I pay cash. It, it doesn't matter where you go, hospital, CAT scan, MRI. Folks, insurance is, with insurance, people tend to think, oh, you don't care about the insurance payments. No, I do care about how much, how much is insurance pay. Because I am so pissed off when I stayed in the hospital for an angioplasty for 23 hours. This is what made me, you know, made me think seriously. They sent me a bill. They had the audacity. Hospital sent me a bill for 227,000 for 23 hours. I was so pissed. I said, I need to do something, man. Since I'm retired, let me get to the bottom of what the problem is. This a problem is not with you or me, folks. It is the insurers. The insurers' fault. They don't address the cost. They keep making the payments. They think the consumers are stupid. They don't care. They're not interested in how much. That's wrong, folks. We are interested. We want to. That's why consumers have to have a rainy day fund so they can pay initial deductible part. So if consumers have to pay thousand bucks, they will think really hard before they can spend their money. But when the insurers have to pay, the insurers think consumers don't care what insurance. That's not true. We are interested in how much we get the bill. So every time you go to a hospital or to a surgery center, you name it, you, uh, hub or radiology, physical therapy, doesn't matter. The prices need to be transparent and we need to know upfront what the cost is going to be. And you need to pay, not the insurance companies, folks. You need to pay. I don't blame the insurers because I understand they are running a business, but we as consumers need to be empowered. We want total freedom. We need to set up, each one of us, a rainy day fund for healthcare. Rainy day fund, yes. Health savings accounts, folks. I can't emphasize the fact which will liberate you in receiving the best health care you can get. Guys, keep listening because I'm working on going live. I'm really uh, having issues related to multi-camera streaming with OBS, NDI. So I'll get there. But till then, I'm going to use my own standard way of recording it. So just be patient. Thank you for joining forpay.org. We will see you next time, folks. Goodbye and God bless.